Today, the Corning Police Department is hosting an active shooter training that has been sponsored by the Tama County Interagency SWAT team. And we've invited Tama County law enforcement agencies as well as Glynn County agencies, California Highway Patrol. Um, we're out here for the unfortunate necessity of the training and what's going on in the nation with um, active shooters. Chief Fears and I have worked together for a lot of years now and he attends our safety meetings uh, very frequently so that we can all be prepared for anything that might come up and we really appreciate the partnership that our Corning PD is amazing we're very grateful they come when we call so that's what we need so today's training is specifically um, organized around law enforcement not the medical aspect of it it's supposed to simulate a high stress environment for all the trainees coming in here you'll hear today probably the SWAT team members yelling and screaming because obviously these type of incidents are very high stress um, some of the role players you'll see are be yelling and screaming acting wounded some of them are acting deceased and then engaging the actual shooter in four different scenarios um, the reason why it's just law enforcement today is our response to these type of incidents is to ultimately neutralize the threat not necessarily render aid at that time due to the continuance of violence to staff or students. We're hosting this today here at Maywood Da Vinci Middle School and we're very grateful that all of these res these responders would come here today to train because that the whole point of them training is so that if there's an event at one of our schools they're well prepared. So as a school district we are very grateful that they would come and train and be ready for our kids.